Hello everyone! As you can see, I bought myself some Himi gouache <laughs> and I got influenced on YouTube. I saw so many things, so many videos um, featuring this type of gouache and I've never worked with gouache before, so they look kind of yummy. <laughs> um, so I picked the yellow box because I like yellow <laughs> and I tried gouache for the very first time in my life. Um, so this kind of reminded me of the, the paints that we used to have in school. <laughs> um, kind of uh, a bit like watercolor, a bit more buildable. Um, just not in a very good quality back then. I mean, Himi gouache isn't the finest artist quality, but for somebody starting out like me, definitely um, a good investment, I believe. Not too expensive, and since I don't know whether gouache is my thing, a good way to go. So I had several problems with this um, cottage painting. The first was that I did not work from one reference, but I actually looked at several photos of cottages and tried to like design my own um, kind of painting. Uh, the second, obviously, is that I just wasn't used to using gouache and it's very different from oils or other paints. Um, it dries very fast. And the third was that I kind of couldn't make up my mind about the colors, um, which is part of point one, um, the, the issue of designing my own painting and not making a study beforehand, but just um, discovering things as I go. But that's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted to have fun with my new paints and just um, challenge myself a little to not just copy but try and work my brain cells and figure out how I want it. Originally I wanted uh, that green um, foliage because I really like uh, the combination of peach and green, especially peach and sage. But I ended up not liking it because I wanted some kind of a sunset atmosphere and I ended up using uh, more autumn -y colors because it just gave that whole um, picture some warmth. I'm kind of more into warm colors these days anyway and I like to accentuate with cooler colors but I preferred this one and I admit at some point I really wanted to toss this a picture out of the window <laughs> or into the trash because I didn't like it at all but I decided to keep going and see what I can do and since I'm somebody who likes to layer um, I was actually surprised that it was kind of salvageable so um, lesson learned never give up on a painting or at least don't do it too fast and try to make something decent halfway decent out of it now this won't be the favorite my favorite painting of all times. Um, I'm not quite happy, but um, that's um, a bit understandable. I mean, it would have been pure luck if this had gone right on the first try, because like I said, I did not do any studies and I kind of invented as I go and I'm not as genius <laughs> as some people who maybe draw from imagination and it just looks perfect the first time. So yeah, it was a nice learning experience. And I actually like gouache. Um, I can imagine doing studies with it. Um, 
you have to get used to the uh, drying times because they're super fast. But you can uh, always reactivate the color you mix by adding water. It may not be perfect, but it works. And um, the finish is very matte, like almost like uh, when using pastels. So that's also different. I'm used to very glossy things. But yeah, here's my painting. I hope you like it. By the way, this is where I want to live when I grow up. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.